Hi everybody, this is Will Setchell with CS225 Video Tuts. Um, today we'll be talking about Quick Select. Uh, which 225 students you'll be using in MP6. Uh, so, what quick overview of what Quick Select does. Um, it finds the kth smallest element and then partitions the array around that element. So that means put everything that's smaller than that kth element on one side and everything bigger on the other side. Um, in, the M in your MP, you'll be using um, the median element instead of the kth element, but this is a more general purpose algorithm than just the median element, so I'll explain it that way. So just to make sure everybody understands fully what's going on here, we'll run through a couple examples of it. So here we have an input array. We'll try and do quick select on zero finds the smallest thing in the array, puts it in the zeroth location, and then puts bigger stuff on the right. And you don't know anything about the order of this stuff on the right. It's You just know that it's bigger than that and it's on the right. Okay. Uh, another example, we'll try quick select on two. So here it goes through. It finds the third um, smallest element in the array puts it in the second location and then it puts stuff smaller than it on the left and bigger it than it on the right. Simple, right? Alright, here we go. So quick select has two parts to it. There's select and partition. Uh, partition is pretty simple, so we'll go through that first. Uh, so partition takes a pivot index as a, as a parameter. It's just an index of that array. So there's only these four steps. You pull out that element from the array, and then you just start to iterate through the array by, and put smaller elements uh, at the left side of it, and bigger elements put them at the right. And finally, once you've looped through entirely in the array, um, you'll have one open spot left in between those smaller and bigger elements, and you put the pivot index back in there. And that's all partition does. Um, something interesting to note, this is the exact same function that people use in quicksort. It's not a coincidence, these algorithms are related. But that's not important for now. Alright, so the other part is called select. This actually does quick select. Um, you'd initially call it with left being 0, and right being n or n minus 1, and k being the position you want. So what select is actually doing is it's kind of performing a binary search for this kth element. So to do that binary search, you take a guess at what element, take a guess somewhere within your bounds for that element. Check your guess. So use partition on whatever element that is, the, the other, whatever element you guessed and see where it ends up. If it ends up in the right place, then you're done. You've already partitioned and everything's already on the appropriate sides. But if you're wrong, you can tell which half of that partition that your kth, that your kth element actually will be in. And then you can check those. I'm not going to actually show you the pseudocode for this because it's it's pretty available on Wikipedia and everywhere on the internet. But if you have any questions or comments or anything, this is my email. And if you're in CS225, here are the standard how to get help. Thanks a lot, everyone.